nerf. Mm. <sighs> Back again. Same point though. And this is video number four in a row. Getting a bit long here. <clears throat> anyway, I have another gun here. Oh, I'll, I'll just get some ammunition from uh, this over here. Oh. Anyway, I have a new gun here. It is, well, I say new gun. It is um, newer than the big bad bow. This is the Stockade. Uh, this, uh, my friend Gareth picked up the other day. Uh, we all live in the same house. We all do our own nerf stuff. So, this is the Stockade. It is pretty much the step up from the Barricade. It's of the Elite series, which can't really argue out. The Elite series has been good to us. But this is in the first wave of Elite stuff, so it comes with the Rampage, the Retaliator, and the Hailfire. It is a 10 round shooter, obviously just the same as the Barricade, and again, semi-automatic. The problem with the old Barricade is the fact that in order to rotate the barrel and to fire quickly, you've got to click the trigger down and release it entirely. Which, for a summer automatic blaster, I'm not too keen on because the hail fire you could just slam the trigger back and forth as fast as you could, and the, the rounds would follow as fast as. Whereas the barricade, it is more of a pain in the backside. Runs on batteries. It has three double A's in the section just here. An on off switch. There is no secondary trigger, so you can't just leave it on and hold the second trigger and ready to fire. You have to put on the main switch for this thing to work, which I don't like with the stockade or the barricade, just thinking, right, okay, they're sitting there, and then they've got you, while you wait for the motors to rev up, whereas at least with other, f like the hail fire, the motors rev up really fast. <clears throat> but in saying that, the stockade isn't always a bad gun, because it's end strike, you can equip different stocks to it, but that is pretty much the only sort of thing that you can change with the gun. There's no barrel attachments either, which I'm also not too keen on, because I like the, the customization of end strike, because they all just intertwine. Uh, same as always, it's got two flywheels, one in the top and one in the bottom, and obviously they spin around, and the dark comes and zoom, like you do with your Hot Wheels cars. Has a jam door basically on the top, which you can load from, because while you have the power button on and the jam door open, you can rotate the barrel, but then and you get that. Uh, let's see what else you get. You get one tactical rail right on the top here. That's apparently what they seem to think that all you need. Um, so they say again, it shoots up to 75 feet, and to be honest, I pretty much think that it can do. If I just uh, I'll make sure I don't grab the barrel there. Yeah, yeah, that could it. That that'll easily hit 75 feet. Then again, because that's what Elite claim them to do. And uh, of all the Elite guns that I've got in the Elite series, then, yeah, they they really can hit 75 feet. Because they've hit me in the eye with quite a bit of force already, as they did with Gaz. However, um, any extras? Not really. The only thing that I can really think of is the fact that this stock has holsters for rounds, so you can sit there and you can take an elite round if, oh here's one, you can just slide in and you've got an extra 10 backup, but the problem with the stockade is because it's a barrel gun, you have to sit there and you have to load it round by round, which is a massive pain in the ass. and that I don't, with some automatic weapons, it, it doesn't help. Because at least with, say, the Vortex Nitron, you'd have more magazines. You could just slide them in and you're ready to go again. Whereas this, you've got to run off, you've got to reload it, you've got to charge your engines again, and then you've got to go and pop off, and you only get 10 shots as it is. So, although the Stockade is a good gun, when it comes to being semi automatic, it's not so good. If you're looking to have one of these or a Maverick, for ammo conservation, I'd probably say a Maverick, although you get less shots. With a Maverick, you get six. But it's manual. You know, you can't slam fire, you can't just not fire your trigger and lose count of what range you've got. 
and that's the problem with some of these guns, I think, well, especially these barrel type ones, the barricade and the stockade is their main weakness. But, it is still a good gun, if you prefer to use it as a handgun, then obviously you can do, which I quite like, because it, it's pretty much just a barricade then, just with the ability to do that, so it's... Apart from the fact that they've probably upgraded the internals and given it the ability to have a stock, it's just basically a barricade. But I'm pretty sure that all the people that are watching this video already know that. But I will say don't buy one. You know, if, if you want to buy one, then feel free. It, it is a good gun. If, you, if you're looking, like if your friends are inviting you for a day of nerf and you're thinking, oh, what do I buy? I want something good, but I don't want something pathetically stupid and small. Like the Nightfinder, let's get one of these. It's cheap, it's effective, and it's got a good range. Spread, yeah, not so bad, depending on how steady you can be with it, but for a quick, if someone says, oh, do you want to go off and do nerfing one day, yeah, one of these is just fine. But if you're into serious nerf, comp serious nerfing, like the competitions, me and my friends, dark tag and whatnot, then it's nice to have as a little sort of piss around weapon but it is still quite good it, well it is good don't get me wrong anyway I'm starting to ramble I've really got to stop doing that I seriously have a problem with that so I'm now going to sign off because I still have yet another video or two to do so let's sign off and we'll go and see what the next gun is